Hi everybody and welcome to another weekly forecast video for F45 trading. Uh, this week we are looking at uh, March 26th to Friday March 30th. Monday March 26th to Friday March 30th. <clears throat> and uh, going to get a couple of levels off of the charts here for the weekly um, bias and see where price could end up taking us to finish out the week so I'm gonna run through a couple of pairs here I'm not gonna keep this very long I see that every time uh, I actually mean it this time though um, I'm gonna try to keep this to about uh, 10 or 12 minutes and I'm just gonna run through a couple of basic pairs here for the week because right now the the US dollar it's still technically in this consolidation so you can see this right here uh, we haven't wanted to break up any higher we have finally come out of the small little chop area right in here uh, which we were trapped in for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Um, basically the past three weeks of trading straight. Uh, we were trapped in that real tight range and price finally decided to break out. Now here's the thing about this. So the F uh, FOMC uh, sat down and they decided to raise the uh, US dollar uh, interest rates about another uh, quarter basis point. So technically this should be going up. Uh, among a few other factors as well too um, this should be going up uh, however you can see here I'm not doing that right that um, FOMC news came out on Wednesday which was this one candle right here that ran up failed to get any higher did not get through the uh, uh, middle of this green candle here and dropped off and now we're since trading under now this is Sunday's candle we're into uh, technically Monday's trading uh, now at the time of this video or we will be in about 20 minutes here <clears throat> and uh, so far it has not shown any willingness to go any higher so here's the thing um, the line in the sand if so to speak if price gets below see this blue line here if price wants to get below this guy here and and I mean close below not just wick down or anything like that close below that line there's a very very good chance that we're going to then start taking out these lows here uh, and then we're going to start seeing these old weekly, I have it on the week here, these old weekly highs here challenge, okay? So that's sort of what we're looking. Uh, now you can see as well too, there is some symmetry technically in a lot of these moves. Uh, move number one there, move number two potentially right in here somewhere, which would take us just underneath the old uh, weekly lows in there and uh, potentially uh, maybe uh, gaining a little bit of ground a little bit of support off of these old highs back in here so we'll have to wait and watch to see what it does but I'm not convinced just because I mean I, I believe we'll probably see lower prices don't get me wrong uh, I'm not sitting here saying that I don't think the dollar index is going to go lower uh, what I am saying though is um, it would have to be a very very convincing breakdown once it gets past these lows here um, so I'm also not opposed to watching this go uh, come down here and then reject off of that blue line or just slightly lower uh, maybe even wick down and take out the stops underneath here uh, by 10 or 20 pips and then start to rally higher because the thing of it is on this feed here on this data feed and I know I've checked with a few other uh, people in the membership group and with our other analysts um, this feed doesn't look exactly like it does on there so you can see how price took out the old high here um, so the old high came in and I don't want to take too long to do this here um, I'll just grab this guy here so that old high uh, right there uh, came at, at 90.74, 90.75 this high in here we'll get a reading on that one here for you uh, you probably can't see the low part of my chart here but uh, the high is uh, 90.86 so it ran through it by 10 pips so it was a stop run higher uh, which is great and then we should start to see lower prices but uh, don't be uh, I'm not 100% convinced until price closes below this low here that we're going to see further prices lower. That's basically all I'm saying. So, uh, But for the interim, at least Monday, Tuesday, potentially Wednesday's trading, we should see lower prices in the US dollar index. So if we got lower prices there, uh, we should have higher prices. Uh, now the pound dollar has been a little bit decoupled from the, uh, the US dollar. Hasn't been quite following in exact step. More so the Euro USD has been falling uh, very nicely uh, with the US dollar index. You can see it's been in the nice tight consolidation range here. Let's zoom out a little bit. Tight consolidation range and potentially so if that US dollar index decides to take that low uh, back over here 
then the euro should be pushing for these highs here and should easily be able to get up to this high here. Uh, so we'll be watching for that, potentially taking some longs on this one. Um, and you can see here, um, you know, they're, they're gunning for those, uh, oops, sorry, trying to get my price levels here. Um, they're going to be gunning for these highs here, these two relatively equal highs here, and then I think these highs here could be uh, taken out this week. So we'll watch for that. Um, any pullback I'd be willing to buy in this area here, um, but we'll have to watch for that and as that comes out. Uh, but I do think, I'm going to call it, I think uh, 124.50 uh, will get taken out this week. Um, so we'll try and get some signals out for that. Uh, same thing with the pound dollar. I'll zoom in here a little bit. Um, very, very strong action um, starting off of the week with this candle right here. Um, I could easily see them come up and uh, take out this high here at uh, 142.20 you know, basically. Um, I believe that'll be on target uh, here very quickly, Monday, Tuesday's trading. If we get a bullish enough um, push behind it, we may even start to get up to this uh, 142.80 level, which wouldn't be too big of a stretch, especially for the cable, uh, to run up about uh, 120 pips from here. Uh, we can easily capture that in a day's range, Monday's trading, Tuesday's trading, uh, without a problem. Uh, but once it hits these highs, I'm not necessarily looking for a straight continuation right up into the old Brexit highs here. I would be looking for them to come up, pop down, and then gather a few more longs by dropping the price back down. Um, but we'll watch for that and see how that transpires early on in the week here. Um, but I think they are going to be going for this wick high here. And that was the uh, FOMC stuff that went on on Wednesday, I believe. Uh, no, I'm sorry. That's wrong. Uh, this was the FOMC on Wednesday. This was Thursday's trading. I think there was some uh, Bank of England news that, was, that came out that uh, drove that up there. Uh, and then dropped the price down for a double bottom and then run price higher but just keep in mind see these, these this relatively equal two lows down here highly suspect uh, everyone's jamming their stops up underneath here so everyone who's long right now that's where they got their stops don't be surprised again if they come back and raid this this week um and i would expect them to do that fairly easily so um, as i say what i'm sort of calling is, is basically a move kind of like this where they run price up and and again 142 20 um that's just kind of an even number. I'm, I'm more looking so, uh, more so looking at the highs up here, 142. Get that up there. There we go. So I'd be looking for that potentially a, a run up to 142.80 as I mentioned earlier, uh, and then I'd like to see them come back down in here and, and grab some longs again. Uh, doesn't have to do this obviously, but that's kind of what I'm anticipating. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, going forward, but if price starts to fall off from here, like if price doesn't get above this high here, I'll be looking for the opposite to happen. So I'll be looking for price to uh, uh, do the opposite. So come down, grab the lows here first, and then obviously um, rally, rally higher and take out these guys. So it's just going to depend. If they don't take this out right away uh, in Monday or Tuesday's trading, then they're going to go down here first, uh, grab the uh, uh, sell stops below the market and then run higher so we'll be watching for that one and uh, i will let you know if i see a trade signal set up uh moving along a uh, bitcoin again not much going on here still trapped in this range um i put this line up here uh last week mid last week at uh basically nine thousand, and uh, i said price should not want to seek uh prices higher than that so far it hasn't it's held it off uh, but there's a small area of liquidity up in this range up here uh, that uh, just right above these old highs here and before these old lows that they could jam price up to come and grab uh, before rolling over if they do decide to do that. Uh, but keep in mind this 12,000 area, that's a big area. Uh, there's a bunch of stops up there right now for everyone going short. So we've got to watch for that. Uh, Ethereum, nothing much here. It basically, it, it took the lows. So Bitcoin did not grab those lows here. Uh, whereas Ethereum, uh, it did. So just depending on the move that we get uh, coming up this week here, we could see continuation to the downside and taking these lows out here, uh, which is, this is a perfect setup. Uh, these guys are right under there. Uh, there's a lot of liquidity under there as well too for everyone who's been going long in this big bullish move. Uh, so we'll watch for that. But I'd be more so looking into a Bitcoin um, move as opposed to Ethereum. Um, and I'd kind of like them to see uh, them come back up into this area here one more time, drive it up and then drop it. I don't want to see price go any higher than here. Um, 
and then I'd, I'd be looking at uh, these lows here to then get taken out so we'll watch for that but that could be a pretty big move uh, as those lows come in at uh, 58 call it about 5900 <laughs> And we're currently trading at uh, 8,400. So I mean that's uh, that's a fairly big uh, uh, movement in price over 2,000 uh, pip range in, in price. So we'll watch that one. Uh, any move up on here, as long as it doesn't want to get any above this line here, um, I'd be looking to sell into it. But uh, again, you got to wait. You got to watch. You can't just get into a move. You got to see what price is, is is doing at the time. If it doesn't show any willingness to continue higher here. Um, then it will probably roll over, but if it starts to push through candles close higher than here uh, Then more than likely it'll want to come up and grab these levels up in here and that comes in at Well, the, the highs over here basically is kind of what I'm looking at driving at so it's about 10,000. We'll just make that a 10,000 even type of thing So that's kind of what I'd be looking for um, if they break these highs up here Crude oil, um, crude oil. So I put these levels out on the chart uh, last week, middle of last week. Price just, um, which is very surprising. They typically don't take out uh, highs um, on the candle open, the weekly open. Uh, so a little surprising, but that 66.25 got ran, and it almost ran the old highs. It almost ran these old highs uh, back in here from <clears throat> uh, from late January. Uh, which comes in at uh, 66, uh, 66.60 basically. Um, price just failed to get uh, higher than that. Let's see if I can get that price box on here. Uh, 66.51, so about nine pips lower than the high. Uh, now, I don't know what's going to happen here, I'll be honest with you. I had hoped before they did this big bull move up here last week uh, that they would have ran down into here and grabbed up some of the liquidity in this area down here. Uh, they didn't do that, unfortunately. They just came down, sort of a weak retracement down here, and then just steamrolled the thing higher. Bulls got hold of it and pushed it right up. Uh, got a couple of trades on it last week, uh, some nice price movement on it, and um, yeah, they didn't quite take the high, so they may leave that for this week, um, or they could come up towards the end of the week and get that. But I, I, I'm looking for them to push price down a little bit, um, and uh, I don't know how low it's going to get if. They pretty much come through and break the 84, uh, 80 mark. Then we could see lower prices under here, and, and then coming through here. Because there's a big, this is a big void right in here that they just smashed price through. However, um, that area and, and range of price was traded through uh, nicely quite a few times. So they may not need to come back down to that level. Um, but I'll be watching any break below here. Uh, my eyes will go down to here automatically and just pull a level off of the hair. Um, you can see it's it's kind of an area of confluence. You see how many times price spent at this level here. It came up here, spent a bunch of time in here, uh, came back, traded through it, came up, back, traded off, traded through, traded through, traded off, bounced, rejected, 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 then finally traded through again. Uh, so that's a pretty significant area. Um, so I'd be interested to see if they do push through this 6480, uh, which is basically the mid midway through uh, this consolidation price range here. If they trade through that, then I'll be looking for them to come down and potentially trade off of the 6250 level um, one more time before hopefully taking out that high there. But if they take that high out uh, before they go any lower, then um, we're going to be looking at much, much higher prices uh, to come. And there are lots of areas up in here uh, for price to start seeking now. Um, so we're going to be back to our bullish standpoint. Also, uh, OPEC is maintaining its... Uh, Crude oil uh, cuts uh, into 2019, so that could be a driver. Uh, but there are a number of other forces, like the U.S. is just cranking up their uh, share of oil production. So that's always going to throw a, <clears throat> a bit of a loop into the market as well, too. So we'll have to watch for that. Uh, but like I say, going into the week, I'm going to drop down onto an hourly, see how they took the highs there, and now um, they, they dropped it. Um, I'd kind of like to see if they'd have any willingness. Like I say, <clears throat> here's that level. Um, sort of the midway point of this consolidation range. I'm just going to take a quick fib off of this. I'm not going to spend too much more time on this, guys. Um, so it's just a little bit higher, about 64.85, give or take, is the midway point. Um, if they have any willingness to go lower than that, uh, then we'll be looking for these guys' areas in here to get take, uh, uh, tagged up before uh, price runs higher. So we'll watch for that. But this was a nice sell-off in here. Um, I'd be interested to watch this. I'm going to watch this over uh, through Monday uh, trading here, early Monday trading. Um, 
at uh, 820 when uh, the CME uh, opens and quantity board opens and uh, see if we get any trade lower down into that or if they just want to start running higher now. So we'll watch for that and I will send out some signals as those ones appear. Um, and then nothing else here. Copper, I just want to bring up quickly, they finally broke out of this terrible consolidation range. This was brutal. Look at this price action in here. Just very, very wicky. Just kind of all over the place. Not really going anywhere. Um, they're slowly just leaking this price down. Uh, and then finally it just rebounded. I've had these three uh, areas on the chart marked out for about a month and a half now. And they steamrolled right through the 20... Uh, uh, 2.96 level so we can get rid of that one and they literally came down and, and teed right off of the uh, 2.91 basically the lows on here have not wanted to go through it yet so what I'd be looking for on copper and I'll be watching for this one is a, is a trade back up uh, to trade off of this uh, small consolidation area in here and then a dump lower uh, and then there's a big area right down in here um, that I'll be looking for them to bring price to um, which is basically right down in this area here so We'll be watching for that uh, to come in here, and that's uh, that's kind of a longer term trade. Um, that comes in at about twenty seven seventy. I call it twenty seven seventy five, whatever. Um, make it an even number, but that'd be sort of where I'd be looking to to see price um, if we uh, if this isn't just a rejection candle and, and we start to trade higher. If price gets through the midway point of this consolidation range, uh, so if price gets higher than um, basically here <clears throat> now it can wick into it of course uh, but if it closes higher than that then I wouldn't be interested in going short <clears throat> one second guys so that's copper I'm gonna watch for that so there's a few trades that could potentially set up here for the week um, <clears throat> Coco just went parabolic again and uh, Cotton, I was looking for a short here. Um, I called it last week. Unfortunately, I got stopped out. Um, I put my trade entry somewhere in here, and it went a little bit higher, and then they did a quick stop rate, uh, one, two, uh, double tap, and then they dropped it. <clears throat> and uh, now I'm going to watch and see what they want to do with price in here. Um, I believe there's a big area down here where if this is going to act as support, it should do it now, and it'll see higher prices. Um, if this gets violated, then we're going to be coming down into here. So we'll be looking for... Uh, shorts uh, come in there but um, we'll have to wait and see this has been a nice bull market for cotton uh, however seasonally uh, it does start to go uh, turn a little bit bearish uh, for the next few months so that's what kind of uh, would lead me to believe we may see lower prices on this especially right here um, they took the highs uh, they took the highs rejected and did not did, had a failure swing here and have not wanted to come back up there yet so but we are trading in a bit of the consolidation range here uh, from these lows to these highs here um, so we haven't made any significant movement yet out of there, uh, but I'm looking for lower prices on this. So if I see something set up again, I will. Um, I did, you know, um, get this one out, but it was uh, the next day trading that I saw this happen, and it was really late in the day, and I didn't want to put a signal out, and then the next day it just fell right off, and uh, unfortunately didn't get this an opportunity to get in, but um, it is what it is. Uh, and that is about all I want to talk about here uh, for this session. I'm going to wrap it up. So, um, probably not a lot coming out in the way of signals for Monday. Um, I want to see how uh, trading is going to shape up going into Monday, especially with this uh, potential new low that's about to form in the U.S. dollar. If this does come to fruition, then we will start sending out some signals um, starting probably uh, Monday after uh, New York Open starts to... Uh, and get into full swing and we get a, a clear market direction so until then hope you guys had a great weekend and we will catch up to you uh, tomorrow via um, telegram uh, chat uh, chat room thanks guys